Hey, how's it going guys? Rulinel here, coming back at ya, but I'm not gonna be actually teaching you guys anything in this video. I just wanted to give you guys my sort of like last few words, my uh, my typical farewell to a series. I think I am ready to put the Colorama module to bed. Um, I've covered a lot of things with it, just uh, like uh, actually printing with color, like the whole point of the module. Uh, we looked at cursor positioning, that sort of thing inside Colorama, how it's cross-platform, how it actually works. We even used some of our own sequences throughout um, the cursor position video and we're even doing so in this thing that you're watching right now I wanted to give you guys something kind of cute something kind of fancy for um, the, this video anyway I wanted to get let you guys be able to watch some watch something at least without just having it be me talking you staring at a blank screen all the time so uh, I did something stupid I did something cheesy and made a nice little thanks for watching sort of script and it's it's dumb but <laughs> I figured that's the way it should be I, I messed with it a little bit had fun with it it was it was fun to tweak and play around with. But anyway, the whole moral or my thesis here, or what I'm really trying to say, is um, Colorama's really cool. It's it's fun to be able to use. It's nice that you can manipulate the terminal in so many ways, and it really kind of opens up the, so many opportunities and so many doors for when you're working in the command line. I know a lot of people will typically, at least it feels like the consumer ideal is that you should always be working inside of a graphic user interface. Like if you're if you're on Windows and someone's using a graphic user interface, if you're at school or if you're at a library, they're always on something that actually has a window. But for most power users, sometimes you just feel more comfortable in the terminal. You just I don't know, it's just this this feel, this lifestyle. <laughs> Saying lifestyle is dumb, but I don't know. I, I guess I guess I really can't know. But for me, I like being able to work in the terminal, and I think color is really important, because if you are a programmer, if you are this person who just works with plain text every day, then being able to see things, being able to get notifications by color and things that stand out, that's really, really awesome. And you can work with it, you can change where you're actually displaying this color, you can output different things, you can change it with, with timing and with loops. The sort of thing that I'm doing here. I, I made something cheesy and kind of cute for you guys. But, anyway, um, the thing that I want to talk about in this video, anyway, is how you can actually combine the power of Colorama with lots of other cool modules. Like, you can see in this video I'm using time um, I'm using, uh, I, I think I actually bring in the operating system version to, uh, to show you some cool stuff. Uh, the operating system module, anyway, the OS module. And we're going to be learning that next. There's going to be lots of cool stuff on the way. Because I want to actually start pushing out some module videos and module tutorial for you guys in Python. And I think I'm on a pretty good streak so far. I mean, Sys got out just a little bit ago. Uh, Colorama is now done. And we can move on to some different things. I'm going to be doing small ones. I'm going to be doing simple and easy ones for now because I, I want to show you guys what you can do, how you can do cool things with them, especially with Colorama and how you can manipulate that even with the other modules together. And that's, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I, I'm kind of at a loss for words here, but I wanted to be able to thank you guys. And uh, that's what, all that this video was about. So thank you.